Hey guys, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we will do the detailed camera review of the U Eureka. So the U brand is a new one from Micromax in partnership with Cyanogen and the first device under this branding is the Eureka. So the U Eureka comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and uh, there is also 5 megapixel front camera available on the device. So all in all this is a really good uh, device uh, in terms of spec and the pricing is just 899 and it competes with uh, the Xiaomi Redmi Note uh, both the 3G and the 4G variant which is priced similarly and also carries a 13 megapixel rear camera. So let's see uh, how the 13 megapixel camera on the U Eureka. Uh, works out so let, let's first uh, uh, see the interface so before we go into the interface we must be already knowing that uh, the Eureka runs on Android 4.4.4 .4 .4 KitKat but it is a custom OS from Cyanogen so this is uh, Cyanogen uh, uh, version 11.0 and it is uh, expected to get the lollipop update pretty soon so let's start off uh, with the camera interface so let's open the camera so this is the camera interface of uh, this uh, device so you can see here it's pretty uh, decent uh, interface it's where the the settings are arranged pretty well so you can see here three options uh, on the right side uh, the the option to take a uh, videos the capture button and uh, then now uh, you have the option to take panorama so those are the three options it's a pretty simple interface on the right side now at the bottom you can see there are four options one is the first one is to switch to front facing camera so if you want to take a selfie uh, this is the option you have to switch to front facing fam camera from here second option is the flash so you can choose either uh, auto focus auto flash or um, always on flash or you can switch off the flash so these are the three options available in the flash so next step uh, we have the additional settings so first step is the exposure so you can select the exposure values uh, then uh, you have the white balance you can choose uh, between cloudy uh, fluorescent etc so these are the normal set of options the next step uh, we have uh, the other modes like HDR mode action mode backlight beach candlelight fireworks flowers night mode night portrait so there are also filters including negative uh, solarized uh, etc uh, you can even have sketch effects so these are some of the options available here and uh, then apart from that you also have the self timer so the countdown timer can be used here uh, so then uh, then next up uh, we have the option to switch on or off the location uh, uh, so in case you don't want uh, the photo uh, to take uh, your location you can turn it off so those are the options available here next up are uh, the settings menu so in the camera we already um, talked about in our unboxing so this uh, this is a 13 megapixel camera so you can select the size it can go up from 13 point megapixel uh, it goes up to 1 megapixel so the aspect ratio changes so if you want a bigger aspect ratio you have to select a um, uh, lower megapixel that 16 is to 9 is available only for 2.1 megapixel so rest all it's 4 is to 3 aspect ratio uh, then uh, you have uh, the quality you can select the quality of the photos uh, probably this will uh, impact the size of the photos as well so we have selected 100 uh, percent then the viewfinder can be full screen or you can make it to letterbox option so then uh, you can have zero shutter lag fast image capture and burst mode then there is face detection you can enable it if you need uh, touch focus duration so that's five seconds by default then continuous mode continuous picture mode uh, you can uh, select the focus mode uh, then uh, we have uh, you can see this auto mode continuous picture infinity and macro so these are the options available then you have the iso so there are a uh, few options available in the iso starts from 100 goes up to uh, 1600 so that's the iso then uh, auto exposure and anti banding so these are the options in the camera now let's go to the video uh, we have the full hd video recording it's 1080p 720p uh, it there is also qsif and qvg so that's the option so then you have the slow motion option option uh, you can uh, capture using slow motion then there is time lapse and the codec informations then the general options you have the power shutter power button takes a photo volume zoom uh, volume keys can be used for zooming uh, then uh, left-handed operation adjust controls for left-handed operation and uh, set brightness to maximum when camera is active that's pretty important or and pretty useful as well say for example if you are on low brightness you may not actually see the object when you're taking photos so this is a pretty handy tool so you can uh, see the brightness increases uh, when you're taking photos and um, in case you are uh, if you're, you're taking too many photos a uh, pretty good uh, feature to have especially in the sunlight 
so then apart from that you have the option to restore the default so these are the options in the camera it's a pretty feature rich camera and the interface is pretty simple uh, not uh, too many options added but you can have control of almost all of them from here so that's the camera interface now let's go straight into the uh, camera shots so first up let's see the daylight shot so here are the daylight shots taken with the u eureka 30 megapixel camera so these are some of the photos taken with the camera in the daylight that's um, uh, with sunlight so there is no artificial lighting here and you can see the photos have come really good there is pretty good amount of detailing the colors look really natural and uh, the clarity is also pretty good so all in all this is a pretty good camera if you're taking photos in daylight so if you, even if you take a look at the macro shots taken uh, using this camera uh, in the daylight you can see there is a lot of detailing and the colors have come really well that's one strong point of this camera the color quality is really good and the sharpness and the image the overall image quality looks pretty good and we are really impressed with this camera in the daylight uh, mode so this is probably one of the best cameras you can pick under the pricing of rupees 10k uh, if you just consider the daylight shots alone now let's have a look at some of the low light images so here are the low light images so as you can see from the low light images uh, these are photos taken without artificial lighting and here you can see that there is a lot of noise included in the photos and the clarity is not that great uh, although the colors have come pretty good the clarity and the overall the sharpness of the image doesn't look that good but uh, have a look at some of the shots taken under artificial lighting and you can see that uh, under artificial lighting um, the photos come pretty good and there is pretty good amount of clarity for the phone in the sub 10k range and the colors have been retained well so all in all we can say that this is one really good camera phone under the price range of Rs. 10,000 and uh, it does really well the 30 megapixel sensor along with the flash unit works really well so here are some of the photos taken under flash and we would say this is one of the best flash uh, we have uh, tested under the uh, in the budget category and the flash is really accurate the colors have come really well even with the flash there is no um, color change even when you use the flash in the micro mode so overall uh, this camera looks pretty good and this is probably one of the best camera smartphones uh, for this price of around 899 now let's uh, see the uh, video sample we have taken um, using this phone and you can see here the video sample is again pretty good uh, the sharpness level and the clarity looks pretty good the we have recorded this in 1080p and looks pretty good so all in all um, even um, uh, even the video recording looks pretty good and uh, all in all we would say that uh, this phone is really worth the money now this phone also comes with a 5 megapixel front facing camera so here are some of the samples taken with a 5 megapixel front camera so as you can see the front facing camera does not have an autofocus it's a fixed focus camera that's slightly disappointing but then it's acceptable because it's a front facing camera uh, you don't take too many photos and for selfies this phone uh, does work really good again the clarity of the 5 megapixel camera is pretty good and here are some of the samples we are taken and uh, it's a pretty decent uh, 5 megapixel shooter so all in all uh, this phone is really worth the money for a price range of around rupees 10k or less and uh, it does compete with the, the 13 megapixel shooter of the redmi note so that was the detailed review of the u eureka the 13 megapixel shooter uh, along with led flash and a 5 megapixel front facing camera so hope you like this video if you have any questions just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos and thanks for watching this video